Hey guys, these videos are running a lot longer than I would like them to, but there's no real way to shorten them and show you my entire thought process at the same time. So bear with me. It'll be worth watching. Stick it through. Enjoy. <laughs> I'm back! Okay, I hadn't really realized how long those previous videos were running. I mean, uh, I think the first one was nearly an hour, and the next one was probably about 45 minutes, so I'm going to try and cut this one a little shorter, but it's uh, it's kind of hard when I'm trying to explain my thought process as I go through. So we are on stage three of this, let's call it, and uh, let's open up the file. And okay. This is where we left off. I haven't done a thing without you. So, um, okay, that gives our the sketches for uh, the wobble in our needle bar or pusher rod or whatever you want to call it. And let's get rid of... I'm going to get rid of this push rod entirely, to be honest with you, because we've decided... Uh, I think it was roughly four millimeters back we got to go. So we're just going to get rid of that one. We do not need it because it doesn't suit our purposes. Um, we know we want our tube to be under our center of mass. What was that again? I know it was around four, but let's just look at it. Um, Y-axis is where that is. So... <clears throat> Excuse me. Come on. 3.9762. 0 0.024 millimeters is nothing, actually. So we're just going to go with 4 millimeters. And the truth is we could push it a little farther back if we wanted to because of the way the cord's going to pull on it. But we won't do that because the farther we go back, then the uh, more of a uh, offset we need in the needle bar and we don't want to increase that any more than we kind of have to so let's turn that off let's just do this let's let's uh let's build a plane uh tangent plane to this surface exactly where we want it at the bottom Okay, we'll go zero on that, and we are going to create a sketch on that plane. Now, we started with this is the center of our build. It's, it's not the center of weight. It's not center of mass or anything like that. But that's just our, our, our known data for building off of. So... Uh, and we know that our center of mass is roughly four millimeters behind that. So we are going to build on this. Uh, just for giggles, we're going to go with a... Uh, we'll go to 3.5 millimeter diameter circle. We will go with a... Um, Let's go with something around uh, 10 millimeter circle. Okay, that's kind of coincidental that that. Oh no, wait, we haven't distanced that yet. Let's distance this from. Oh, I'm not listening to myself. So again, it's the whole kind of confusion of. Uh, Trying to explain what I'm doing. Let's turn that section analysis off. Okay, so there's our zero point. There's our. Why is that not working? Um, ah, let's turn on this origin point. That's what we need. Okay. 
All righty. So, start again. Below this build point, down here somewhere in a straight line, we're going to build 3.5. Then we're going to build another concentric one around it. Just guesstimating at 10 to start with. Okay. We are going to distance the center of this from our original build point center datum at about four millimeters, just for gigalies. Um, we can see our center of mass here. Uh, let's get closer to that. Let's, uh, let's make sure that is our center of mass. No, that's our center of mass. This is our center for that new plane we just created. I don't know why it got put there, but it did. Okay, so you can see we are realistically just about no, why are we off to the right? Um, let's lock this point into being vertical with that point. And slightly confusing as to why my center of mass is a micro fraction of, a, of an electron to the left there. And the truth is, I know why. Just got to think, Mark, and you know these things. And the reason being, I'll back up and show you this quickly, because I need to figure these things out or they will eat at me. Um, RCA. RCA has a number of bodies. And if we turn them all on, let's, let's do this. Let's isolate the RCA, turn on the RCA, and there's all these other bodies on the RCA. And this explains why some weight is being thrown off. So watch this. We will physically delete that body. Yes, we want to delete that body. Uh-oh. Never mind, I can't do that because it's dependent upon other stuff in there. All right, what's the other way to do this? Let's um, This is overkill and it's unnecessary, but I need to satisfy my my thirst for knowing why my center mass is off center and cuz everything else should be symmetrical. Other than this, so I'm building on this plane. I'm going to project this diameter. Okay, finish sketch. I am now going to open the sketch I just created. All right. Turn on the sketches. Okay, so that's the sketch I just created. We are, well, let's do this. Let's open it up again. Let's uh, create another circle off of that. Larger than everything. Now we will finish that sketch. We will go in, we will Okay, we were minus 0.5 millimeters. No, we won't. We will. Uh, we will go to object of the other side of this tab. Blah blah blah. There, we've removed that tab. It no longer exists. So we'll hit Control Save. We will get back to our total object. We will. Unisolate all, everything's turned on, and let's get back into what were we working on? Oh, see, now I went and created that sketch and I didn't create. Oh, no, that's in our motor housing, right? Stop creating these sketches where you don't want them, Mark. Okay. There. No.
All right, Mark, where did you create that sketch? Where is this sketch? It's in motor housing. There it is. Okay, so it's where it belongs now. All right, but let's look at this from the front. Let's zoom, 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 zoom. And you will see, or let's look at it from the bottom plane. If my theory is correct, we should be, well, we're significantly closer. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I don't know what the distance is on that. Let's see. Zero. It's, it's not really measurable in the uh, number of units that we were willing to measure down to in this program now. But that is what created that one-sided uh, center of mass. Uh, I'm convinced of that now. So that was a needless waste of time. But I need to know because I need to confirm that I didn't screw something else up in a previous process that has something off-centered, um, which would create an alignment issue and whatnot later on down the road. So we are going to take now and just extrude while we're making sure we're in the housing. Uh, we're going to make sure we're going to extrude this down. I don't know. Let's go 15 millimeters. And let's see, we're going to look at this again. And we're going to do join and we're going to offset this plane up um, minus 0.5. I just I want to look at this and make sure I'm getting up into what I'm trying to do is get uh, this up into here. Preferably without protruding into the uh, uh, cavity of the motor. Minus one. There we go. Let's just make sure we're all the way around, touching, contacting, join. Okay. There is the basics of our tattoo machine. Um, obviously, this needs to come over and around, so um, I may very well like to do this part differently. Um, that's that sketch. That's that emboss. What is this emboss? Okay. Let's kill this emboss and let's. Uh, we're even going to kill that sketch. We're going to do this, approach this a little differently. Let's, um, we're going to look at this from the side and we are going to create a sketch plane uh, down the center plane and we are going to draw this. Um, we want, well, let's just, we basically want a conical shape. So we're going to go out here, down here. I don't want to align with anything specific. And uh, over here, and, uh, up here. Okay. We know that we would like to have uh, distance of this to this to be roughly four millimeters to the center. Um, but we don't want to go entirely to the center because we need a hollow cavity going down the middle. So let's do, well, let's just go to the center line. Uh, minus four. Come on. Minus point four. Uh, Minus four. All right. I am having computer issues. Why that went that way, I'll never know. Um, might be the video recording kind of cluttering up the uh, system processor. Okay, so that's going to the center line. And then we know we need this edge to be outside of our cam, and then there's going to be a wall thickness also. So let's put uh, 
this line to our known datum of seven. Whoa. Don't know why that pushed that down, but that's kind of dumb. All right. I didn't assign a length to that, so let's see why. Unless that's going to a known point. That can go to there, can go to there. Again, sometimes you don't know why things are going to happen in the uh, CAD world, or people smarter than me know why they're going to happen. All right, so what do I know? I know I need a wall thickness. So I'm going to do another line here. I'm going to taper down to here somewhere. And uh, now let's see, that's at a midpoint. I did not mean to grab a midpoint, so we're going to delete that. Now this can move around here. Um, I know my this distance here between here and here is going to be. 3.5 divided by 2. You can do the math right in there. Um, wall thickness that I'd like down here, um, probably 1.5. And I need this line, this to here, to be vertical to this here. And what else do we want? I want, uh, well, what is. This measurement here is D58, so let's throw a dimension up here that's going to equal D58, and let's do a distance from here to here. We want that to be 1.5, and I'm slowly adding constraints here. Anything that stays blue, I can still move around. For some reason, this seems to want, I've never assigned a length to this, so this shouldn't be happening. Um, the fun. All right, so that's that. This goes to that. Get rid of that. I don't want an angle in there. I want, I want uh, parallel. I want this to be parallel to that. And let's see. I've got to figure out why. I want that, excuse me, perpendicular. That's perpendicular to that. This line here is, is that being dictated by, all right, everything else is movable. Um, 1.5. Distance of this to this is no, we don't want point to point. No. Eight, ten, ten will work for now. Um, it's going to tell me I'm going to be over constrained here, but I want to try something. Fifteen. No, that worked. 
Okay, so I can drag. It has something down here is anchored, and I don't know why. Um, there, I must have accidentally anchored to something uh, in my haste. All right, we'll just delete you. Let's make this one correspond with this one. And I should be able to grab and move the whole thing up and down now. Okay, so that's kind of where we want to be. Just going to drag that up into there and. This probably needs to come down straight before it goes over, so I was kind of correct in just delete that line and can drag those down. I can add some new lines that goes perpendicular over down. All right, there we go. So, no. Oh. Control Z is your best friend. Okay, perpendicular here to here. No, about oh, here to here. Over constrained, over constrained. Um, what is controlling this? What's not moving? Okay. Oh, we need uh, let's go twelve. It's locking things in that shouldn't. won't let me go any further than that. So this, oh. All right. I can move that up and down. All right, so I want another line from here to here. I would like to remove that constraint. All right, and well, that gives me a rough ballpark. Um, Just for giggles, let's add one more line across the bottom to close this off. And we're just going to trim this guy. And that was way too much work, but uh, let's drag this up into this sort of region where I know I will be within the boundaries. And ugh. And the next thing we're going to do, extend this to this, this to this, blah, 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 blah. And come on, Mark. Accidentally extended that. Okay. 
select fun kind of like watching paint dry isn't it so all right a lot of work to create this little conical shape uh, which we may or may not even use but this is this is the process that's what I do okay so now I want to do a revolve I'm going to not that one I want this one all right this is not a closed circle it's not a closed chain so don't know how I did that but Extends there. Done. Revolve this around this axis. And I am. And it did a cut. I don't want to do a cut. I want to do a join. Okay. Kind of silly, right? But. It gives you an idea because the pusher bar needs to come down, needs to make an angle over to the tube center, and then it needs to come down. I don't want it sticking off the back of the machine, obviously, um, but it's a starting point. It gets us sort of where we want to be. Um, but not exactly. And I've got to, while I'm doing this, I need to take into consideration the machining process. Um, just because I can create it on the screen doesn't mean I can create it in the machine shop without, uh, um, there's a lot of things I've got to work around. Uh, tools can only go in so many angles, you know, unless you have some aerospace, technologically advanced, uh, a uh, metal printer that I could print on any abstract shape, sort of like a 3D printer, but they have those that do metal. Um, awesome devices. Don't own one, probably never will. Uh, unless technology gets a whole lot cheaper. So I need to take into consideration, I've already decided that while I'm manufacturing this, it's going to rotate along this axis here so my machine will be able to bore in there get out of there i can't have anything that as i'm looking straight down that bore there i can't have anything here that gets in the way because there's just a lot of things limitations within the machines themselves so i'm a lot of i spent a lot of time staring at things you know flipping them around looking at them from different angles um yeah there's a lot of brain time, as uh, I'll call it. So at this point, I don't like this. I just, I, I don't really want to pursue it. I'd like to have this flat coming down the back and then radius and contour in to here. Uh, I could still do that. I can create this cone. Uh, I can create this cone and then I can, um, Let's see, what's the easiest way to explain this? Um, probably just show you. All right, so I can create another sketch on that same plane we were just working on here uh, that is going to Go out, down, over. Let's um, yeah. Let's delete that. Let's. Uh, Let's go here to here. Uh, let's make this line concentric with. Can I grab that? No, they're not going to let me grab that. Um, 
Hmm. All right. I'll just, so there's other ways around it. Finish sketch, uh, measure the distance from known datum to face, 13 millimeters close, back into sketch, um, dictate this line to be 13 millimeters off that face. All uh, right. So perpendicular, perpendicular, blah, blah, blah. Um, doesn't need to be any great shape. Uh, extrude in a cut fashion. Um, I'm centered, so I'm going to go from the profile plane, two sides. Uh, that design. I'm going to pull it this way a bunch. I'm going to pull it this way a bunch. I don't need to be precise, although I normally am when I'm building something. And now you can see I cleaned that down there. Oh, but geez, I've got uh, this new plane. So, well, all right, not a big deal. Let's see if we can just grab. We'll just build that there. We'll project this here. And let's well, just project it all. Okay, we're going to draw a line from that point to that point. And we're going to finish sketch. And I could take this base, extrude this, add that center, negative uh, two millimeters. Ah, it cut again. We want to join, join. Okay. All right, so we've got that. We can um, now we've got an interior wall. Um, I can loft this to this uh, to bring it up. Let's see. There's something I haven't played with really much. Uh, well, where is it? Anyway, so let's do this. We'll just extend this. So the touch is there. Get me in there. Are we in? We're in. Okay. Jeez, Mark. Keeps reverting to cut and you're not paying attention. Why won't that join? All right, computer glitching. Let's just go to the main view. It's there. It's just for some reason not wanting to show it in the manner that I would like it. So this would be the start of the down tube, the threads, the the, the lock nut vice, all that fun stuff. And uh, once you get to like this stage, you would simply just start working on these, uh, the, the, the fillets. So I'm going to look at... Uh, Why is this? This appears to be showing as a separate body. I should not have sep. Yeah, see, I've got two bodies here. It's got one body and. All right, which was this one? I'm not a pro. So, okay, so that's the revolve. Should be join. Okay. So that should be all one body. That's that body. That's that body. Body four. For some reason. It's showing as join.
Theorie. There is no body there. If there is, I can't see it. All right, let's try it again. Let's just go from, what we want to do is raise that face up until it goes into this body. We want it to join. And that's that. That's that's what I was expecting the first time, but it just didn't happen. All right. Fun. All right. So let's just go back to the, the main. Okay. So now you can see we would kind of have, I would need to cut into this. Well, let's do that. Let's, uh, And get back into motor housing and we are going to draw a sketch on this face and we are going to again project this outside circle onto it and then we are going to zoom right in grab that outside circle we're going to go uh, 0.15 Really, really, really thin little. Oh, actually, I'll redo that. Um, all right, we're going to point one. Yeah. Okay. What I want to do is now I'm going to take this sketch, extrude, add that thin little layer around it. And I want to pull it back to that object there. And this time I actually do want to cut. And it does not want to let me. All right, let's just do distance. Oh, aha! Bodies to cut. Objects to cut. We only want to cut the motor housing. All right. Now you can see, I'm going to hide the motor cover. And the, let's, let, you know what, let's just hide everything but the body and the motor housing. Okay, so isolate. Obviously, some of this needs to be removed, but, and that's an impossible shape for me to machine on one side, so. I'll probably fill that in a solid and then create the cavity I need uh, with the constraints of the machine. So, but anyways, this would be the stage we would be at, and I would start going like this. I would grab these lines, let's say, I don't know, uh, uh, three millimeter radius. Uh, maybe go a little bigger. Let's go six millimeter radius on that. How does that look? Ooh, that kind of looks pretty. Okay, and uh, kind of a looking for the aesthetics as to how this curves down here. Well, let's go to eight, see if we can get that a little bit. Seven. All right, we are reaching limits. 6.5. Where is it going to cut us off? 6.25. Well, it looks like 6 is probably going to be the max we can do on that. All right, so we got 6 millimeters there. And uh, actually, you know what I want to do? I'm going to go back before that fillet. I'm going to do a different fillet. I want to do this fillet, and I want to do this at, say, 6. Okay, now I'm going to... Uh, 
Alright, that one can't be done that way now. No big deal. We'll just delete it. We'll start again. And we will grab this line. And symmetrical line. And we'll go five. No. Five, four. I've got to disconnect here. Something's... Something oh, because it's this little that little step right there. What if I add that line to? No. So I can't fill it this now any greater than this distance here. Why was it letting me do that? Before, but not now. Six. It's not going to work. All right. Well, let's go before that. Fill it. Let's go back to our original. Now, if I take the time, I can generally figure out what constraints I'm running up against and and all that but just just for fun we're just going to throw that fill it in there real quick then we're going to see if we could it'll allow that other fill it kind of gives a cool little groovy shape there um I'll throw another fill it on the back here and I wonder what that is that's strange so on the back we'll probably only get away with a three now, because that's this line right here. That's what that is. Where this wedge came from is kind of nuts. Um, that came from that fillet. So let's go back before that fillet. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to walk away from that for a minute. I'm going to. Go here and go with a three millimeter fillet, maybe a four millimeter fillet. I'd like to get right out near this front edge, but not quite hit it. All right, that works for me. Um, but I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to, I know I can get a four there. Let's see if we can make this four together. Kind of cool. All right. Right, and now let's take that one step farther and go with a four millimeter fillet there. All right, I think we're cooking now. We, we're getting a little bit of flow going on here. All right, now let's uh, this to this. Let's see if we get a six on there. Yeah. All right, and then let's just keep playing. See where it will let us go. Uh, let's try a six there. Oh, okay. I'm kind of digging that. All right, now we'll take another one down here. Oh, look at this line running around the machine in this direction. Let's try a six on that. Eight. 10. Nope. 11. Nope. 10. Nope. 9. Oh. 10. 9. 8 worked. We know that. What the hell? Alright, now that's frustrating because when I first grabbed that line, Let's cancel out. When I first grabbed that line, I think I did 10. Eight. All right, eight works. Let's work with that. Okay. That's kind of groovy, cool looking, actually, really. Um, I don't know. I see some sort of medieval helmet, uh, knight's helmet here with a jawline, neckline looking thing. I don't know. Having fun. That's kind of what it's all about. Okay, let's pop on that uh, 
the motor cover, see what that looks like. Oh, well, that looks a little harsh there. Um, hmm. Let's. Let's do this. Let's uh, oh, let's construct a, an offset plane on this face with zero offset, and we're going to sketch on that plane. Doesn't need to be anything funky. Massive circle. Finish sketch. Let's take that and. Extrude it to get rid of that uh, that lip, and we'll just pull it forward a little. Uh, all right, so now that's face is missing, kind of cool. And let's See if we can't do a fillet on this surface for three. Okay. Can kind of work with that. And let's go to the cover and let's fillet this face three. And let's just peek in and see what we have here. Why are you showing that transparent? I don't know. I might pull this back even farther, actually. So, uh, in fact, I will probably pull it back. Oh, let's look at it from the right angle. I think that's a three millimeter radius. So. Let's go back into our motor housing and let's take that back three millimeters. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's go up to the main body. Hey. That's kind of looking groovy cool. Let's turn off our analysis on our origin. And uh, what do you guys think? I mean, you do something simple like uh, another fillet up here of say two millimeters. And we've got a pretty reasonable looking uh, tattoo machine body. So. This has gone on long enough. You, you watched me babble and, and uh, make mistakes and get a little frustrated for too long already. So um, that's the next stage of this particular machine. Will we make it? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. If nothing else, it will teach me something. I will learn from this experience um, into my next project and uh, or this project. I don't know. It's it's. It, I will learn from it. I will grow from it. I will get better at my software. I will be get better at my machining. And uh, overall, you guys will uh, gain from that too, from my learning. So uh, once again, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys on the next one. Wow, it's starting to look like something. I can't wait to see what it looks like in the end. But I already know. So you don't though. So stay tuned. And if you haven't caught the earlier episodes, go back and do that and wait for the next one. Thank you very much for watching.